Hello and welcome everyone, Gamar here, and we are back with a brand new episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. So without further ado, let's play. Now, I know in yesterday's stream I did say that... Uh -huh. Oh, I want to talk to you. Hi. Come on, man. I'm just trying to go up the ladder. Oh, I guess you don't have to push anything to go up the ladder. So in yesterday's stream I did say that we were kind of not go for uh, shrines, but maybe we should to get some extra hearts. Because even in the tutorial section, we were just getting stomped. Getting like one shot. I don't know. I really do want to, but maybe once we get a horse. Or, or the glider, or something. Something that'll make us move faster. You know, without the without the energy cells, I suppose. Well, let's get the, the map. That's definitely going to be helpful. Hmm. If I put this here, then that goes there. No, no, that's not quite right. Or not quite it. Huh? That should do it. Hey Link, you all set? I just wrapped up here myself. The travel point is working fine now, or it will be once you do your part. Hey! We're ready, Joshua. Pull the switch. Hey! Why is switch so far away? Oh, we got a nice little cutscene for this. Wasn't expecting that. Good thing there weren't any uh, floating cities up there. Oh, that's a signal. Wonder what the point of that is. All of the Skyview Towers have now been activated. Yeah. Okay, Link, your turn. Ah. Hold the Pura Pad over that terminal. Do I actually get the map? It'd be nice to get the map. Care about that way more than the teleport. Don't tell me you're going to shoot it up again. Alright, the Skyview Tower is now active on your map. That means you can now use this travel point to get here at any time. Instantly. The same is true for every Skyview Tower you add to your Pura Pad. <laughs> Impressive, right? But Skyview Towers are about more than just traveling quickly. Their primary function is to survey the area, or more simply put, to make a map. The Pura Pad works with Skyview Tower and scans the topography directly onto the map. Uh -huh. Pretty great, hmm. Well, that's hmm. the main purpose. Only thing is, you need a paraglider when you're scanning. Oh, I need to do scanning myself. It's interesting. Takes a lot of skill and nobody here had what it takes. To be honest, that's why we haven't tested this out yet. We needed you. Which brings us to this. No, oh, thank you. I've been missing this. Good thing we talked to her before we started heading to shrines. This item given to you by Prua lets you ride the winds and glide through the sky. Press X in midair to activate it. Right. Showtime now. Let's start with a test scan. Mm -hmm. Oh. Don't tell me they're going to shoot me out of this, this tower like a cannonball. 
I have a feeling that's what's going to happen. Now it's time for our very, very first test launch. Oh. Yeah, okay. I didn't even read that. I mean, our first test. Just step over there in, into the circle and find me afterward. All right? If I'm not blown to pieces, I'll be observing from the research lab. When the test scan is over, we'll have a final briefing on the search for Princess Zelda. And I'll need to upgrade your map with the places where the upheaval has wrecked the most havoc. Best of luck. Alright. Let's uh, embrace our inner Team Rocket and blast off again. Right. Can't have Link going anywhere. Any more a switch. It's even plugged in on the bottom. Of course they would just call it a switch at this point. Whoa. That launched us up pretty high. I can't do anything yet. It's just a cutscene. I can't imagine why no one else wanted to do this. Surface map updated. For a second, I thought we actually had to do some stuff, but I guess it just happens automatically. Sky. Oh, sky map updated. Also, the. I guess not the sky itself. Now what's the point of gliding? I like how you can kind of see... I mean, the draw distance is actually really nice. There's a little, there's a little island over there. You're so high in the sky. Look how long it takes us just to get down here. Ooh, I love, I love timing them for like the last possible second. And yeah, no one, they got no skills, man. No guts. I mean, I wouldn't do it either, to be honest. I'm scared of heights, man. Forget that. Welcome back. That was some good gliding up there, Link. I expected nothing less. So how did it go? She got a proper map scan. Good. The map is crucial to our search. There are sky view towers in every region in the world. You'll want to make a point of visit a point of visiting them all. Hmm. Right. Let's talk about the upheaval. It's affected more than just the castle. Reports of other strange phenomena have been coming in from all over Hyrule. Let's take a look at your map. The first report comes from Hebra to the northwest. Next up is Elden to the northeast. Guardo are reporting trouble in the southwest. And finally, Lanryu to the east. The strange phenomena are Concentrated in these four regions. Yes. Can't say for certain, but I got the nagging suspicion that we might find out more about Princess Zelda by looking into these phenomena. Uh -huh. Hey Doc, I don't know if this is helpful, but I heard something weird the other day. It was about someone who might have seen Princess Zelda at a retail village over in Hebra recently. Hmm. That is pretty weird. Yeah. Generally speaking, I don't put much stock in hearsay, but this does sound like it's worth looking into. It didn't really tell you much of anything, but all right. I guess that's our first destination. Oh, and before I forget, Link, we've asked the Lucky Clover Gazette to help us in the search for Princess Zelda. There's nobody who knows more about the 
and the going on goings on in Hyrule than them. You can find them near the entrance to Rito Village. If you do go there, you should speak with the editor. I'm sure she could help you out in some way, too. Mm -hmm. I'll be there directing a variety of investigations into the upheavals, many chasms, and new ruins. I'll also be looking into different villages. Someone somewhere might know what's happened to the princess. Yeah. I'm counting on you to check out that Check out the major phenomena that are troubling regions around Hyrule, Link. We'll find Princess Zelda one way or another. Okay. What's going on? For my part, I've been thinking about a lot of this village. Aside from the four regions I asked you to check out. Hoping to learn more about the situation there, too. Okay, yeah, we don't need to... Yeah, I forget. I mean, this is. I keep forgetting this is not like Elden Ring or any Souls game. We don't necessarily have to talk to everybody more than once. I wonder if there's anybody we could talk to to sell stuff. And I would like to buy this armor. Uh, to free up it. Well, we've been here before. Yes, yes, yes. How much can I sell my stuff for? Oh, I like how it tells you on the item. You don't actually have to scroll to it. If only I had more rubies. Yeah, it doesn't look like anything will really give us a lot of money. Amiibos drop legendary equipment, man. Is it equipment that you can get by other means? Because that sucks if there's like things like like armor sets. Well, I guess armor sets. And let's. I think I remember the some of the armor sets for Breath of the Wild had like unique thing. like if you had like you can, like it's from it's like armor sets from like other Zelda games or just other games. Some is exclusive and you need to find a special merchant to buy legendary stuff. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. As long as I can get everything that was intended for this game in the game, I don't care. I imagine, I think in Breath of the Wild you can get like Majora's Mask and a bunch of other stuff. But you need like Amiibos, which is fine because that's not really part of this game. Just a special thing. I mean, you have to make the Amiibos worth it. You know, in some way. Ah, what a fine afternoon. Hey you, is it true you got the Pura pad? Pura and I worked together on the design. But I'm the one who put it together, you know? We should have called it the Robbie pad. Technically speaking. Come on, Goggles. Are you even listening to me? Uh, oh yes. Sorry, you were saying? I was saying that I want to go investigate the depths. You know, I wonder if this is actually a child. Because the last time we saw Pura, she was... She looked like a child, but she wasn't. Look, if you're not going to listen to me, I'll go and jump into a chasm myself. No way, no how. You can't do that. The depths are, the, are far too vast for you to explore on your own. And we've only barely begun to look into them. I'd love to go gallivanting around down there, too. Who knows what, what wonders are at the bottom of those chasms. But no matter how wondrous they may be, far too dangerous for you. Not about to allow our young prodigy to go wandering around somewhere so unknown, so foul. If anything were to happen to Pura's favorite student, it'd be the end for me. The end. But I need more on that figure if we have any more info on it then it should help us better understand the depths what figure huh. oh swordsman you don't even know my name sorry i didn't mean to leave you out of the conversation head of depths research yeah. head of a department i mean if she's a child she's sure is smart i mean i guess they call her a prodigy 
Let me get you up to speed. Our survey team brought back some artifacts from a journey into the depths. One of them caught my eye. Ah, part of a wall. This piece of slate, specifically the image depicted on it. Hmm. See that figure standing on two legs with one arm raised? Well, I have theory. I think it could be evidence that a mysterious people once lived in the depths. Uh -huh. That's why I want to go down there. So I can see if there are more depictions like this one. I want to see for myself. You know, they are highlighting words in red quite often. The fact that they highlighted like down there is just it's a strange choice. I can understand like highlighting the depths, but I don't know why you do down there. I mean, I guess it's referring to the depths, but whatever. But Goggles here says it's too dangerous and he won't let me go. Joshua, come on now. Tell you what, I'll go down there myself and see if I can't find anything about the figure on that slate. And Link will join me. Who said so? We'll start by looking for anything down there that resembles the figure on the slate. Assuming we find what we're looking for, we'll use the Purapad's camera to take a picture of it for Joshua. A perfect plan. Camera? You don't know about the camera? It's one of the Purapad's basic features. With a camera, you can capture nearby scenery as an image. One that's stored in your in your pad there. Sounds like you still have more to learn about the Pura pad. Well then I'll teach you how to take pictures. Once we're down there anyway. There will be lots of monsters in the depths though. So I'll be counting on you to keep me safe. Let's see. I guess we should enter through the chasm to the south of Lookout Landing. I'll go on ahead once you're ready and raring to go. Come find me there. Ta-ta. Hang on. I guess that's the side quest. Sounds kind of interesting. Having the camera would be nice. Huh. Looks like he's gone. I'm sorry you got roped into all of this, swordsman. Goggles means well, but when he wants to help me, he leaps before he looks. Yeah. But maybe, maybe this will help you out, at least. Bright Bloom Seed. Some money would help. Oh, it looks like she gave it to me from her stock. Saw it disappear in the back. Oh, and take this too. Oh, the arrows. I'll take those. Um... How about the other stuff over there? The chasms are pretty deep, so light from the surface doesn't make it down there. It's pitch black. But if you attach a bright bloom seed to an arrow and shoot it, it'll light up the area. Definitely a useful trick down there. Okay, you'll want to head straight out of Lookout Landing south, Southern Gate. You'll find the chasm goggles used just outside. I don't know too much about how your ca camera works, <laughs> but I'm counting on you to bring me a, that picture. Oh, please look after goggles uh, for me. Oh, well, that's a main quest. Interesting. Didn't realize it was a main quest. Okay, so let's just head for that. Because why not? Man, this game has a lot of story and explanations. A lot of reading. Oh, well, let's, uh... Oh. Nope, I don't want to do that. I want to go up the ladder so we can kind of... I mean, we... At this point, we've probably, uh... Wasted more time than it's worth, but I just wanted to jump up here so we can get a little extra distance that we don't have to walk. But it probably would have been faster to run at this point. I'm too lazy to make a car. Doesn't seem to be that fast anyways. And I think until we figure out how to steer it, it's probably not worth it anyways. 
that we're going to be uh, doing quite a bit of walking. At least in the beginning. Oh, that's... That's probably a mistake, but I couldn't help myself. Hope those bees don't come after me. Oh, looks like they're coming after me, but they are pretty slow. Alright, so here's this chasm. I didn't get a horse. I don't think so. I haven't seen any horses. There were some horses in the stable. Is that something we, uh... Is that how we get them? I guess we should have checked inside the sta- uh, good. Talk to the people near the horses in the stable. That might have been a good idea. And I make it up here so I don't have to climb all the way. Oh, I don't think I can actually climb up there anyways. Maybe I can make it. Oh, same as Breath of the Wild. That means I have to capture them. I haven't seen any horses in the wild. So I, I guess uh, for now, no. I don't have any. Okay, I think we can make this. Should have enough stamina to make it. Pretty sure I saw something up there, but... Nothing too important. Probably just some pickups. Oh, just some fire stuff. Fire fruit. Oh, and a Korok, probably. That was worth it. Still need to find Hetsu. It'll be nice. That, we're, that we have so many of these seeds. We'll be able to get a couple... I mean, if it works the same way as Breath of the Wild. We'll be able to... Increase our inventory by quite a bit. You captured a pure black horse and forgot where you left him. But if you bring him to a stable... Can't you just whistle? And he'll come to you? I guess if you forget to bring him to a stable... You kind of just have to find him wherever you left him. Alright, shape rotation. Okay. That looks pretty interesting. I oh, didn't register him. Oh, well, I hope you find him. Okay, that was fairly simple. Now, can we use this to walk across? Is that what... Is that the plan here? Well, that was pretty simple. Now, I know this is our first... At least, I think it's our first shrine. Maybe it's our second shrine, I don't remember. Oh right, we can't climb in here. Um, you know, that's not part of the tutorial. And, you know, I can't say for future shrines, but things definitely seem a lot more interesting than they did in Breath of the Wild. I gotta say that much. There we go. Can I climb up this? Or no? Oh, I can, I can... I think I need to... I know what I need to do with this one. Oh, maybe I should just put it in here. Like, they probably want me to. Okay, so I thought this might be what we... Oop, wrong button. Yeah, I figured this would be, like, what they wanted us to do.
There we go. We have been hearing a lot of people talk about this game. It's been a little scary because I'm like trying not to get spoiled. But, you know, I've been, I've collected a group of, uh, you know, people on YouTube that I trust that are, you know, that are good. I like reviewing games and not spoiling them. And, uh, they've all said that it's just like, a lot of these puzzles can be solved many different ways. Kind of just up to your imagination. There we go. I was trying to like rotate. The rotation feature on this is really kind of not easy for me. Like it doesn't rotate the way I want it to sometimes. Nope, that's not what I wanted. Is there like a different way to rotate this stuff? Kinda needs to be on top of each other. Okay, so that's I think the way it wants it should be, or at least the way I want to rotate it. Oh no no no, it needs to be at an angle. Oh my god, this rotation feature. You're able to beat a shrine which was bugged and broken. Like, did you do something in the shrine that, like, bugged it, you know, or, you know, broke it? Or was it just broken from the start? Alright, come on. I need to rotate. I wish I could really, you know. Yeah, I only have like two directions, which is unfortunate. Really wish they had better uh, controls over this rotation feature. Ah, it's got to be the other way, I think, right? Nope. I'm failing miserably here. Maybe I don't need to get it through both of them. Okay, so this I think might be the way, but I need to rotate it... ...somehow. Okay. No, don't rotate. What am I doing? Okay. Oh my god, that was insanely difficult <laughs> to rotate that correctly. That's good enough. were still able to do it, but it took you 15 minutes. I feel like that shouldn't have taken us that long. 
the rotation feature is definitely one of my weak points. Visitor to the Shrine of Light. That which impris imprisons and purifies ancient evil. Okay, so I think I think a lot of this dialogue is the same now. I think we might just skip through this little cutscene. No need to watch it every time. Oh, I guess I must have done another shrine down here, and I just forgot about it. Now, it's all well and good to get these shrines, but I have not found a statue to actually use uh, the blessings of light or light's blessing I guess whatever you want to call it oh, I thought this was him ah. hey traveler I'd stay away from that stuff if you care about your health folks are calling it gloom if you get any on you you'll start to lose strength like it's sapping your life away mm. I touched some gloom while poking around in the depths, and now look at me. The worst of it will recover on its own, little by little, so long as you're on the surface. But while you're in the depths, you won't recover at all. thought I was going to die down there. Ugh. Some investigation leader. I turned out to be. This is just pitiful. I'm completely relying on Davil. So I really want to recover by morning. You're still going back to the tutorial area to level up? But how is that possible? What do you mean level up? I mean, the only thing you can do to level up in this game, I suppose, is to uh, get the light's blessing get more heart and hearts and stamina other than that i really don't see any other way well one of these days i'm gonna like scare someone off that cliff it's the second guy we've done this to yeah but doesn't the doesn't the tutorial area only have four shrines so how can you get more hearts and stamina unless you're just talking about other places in the sky. Hey, what's the big deal? You can't just walk up behind someone who's standing on the edge of a chasm. My colleague who works with me on the Zonai Survey team is down there. What would happen if I slipped and fell on him, huh? Oh? I guess you'd both be dead. Don't startle me again. I'm deep in my investigation work at the moment. wonder if that dude is down there already. But it's so far down there. I guess the dot is down there, so I guess that's where we're heading next. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you're enjoying these episodes, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And come check out the live streams on YouTube.